Introducing the D'Addario Auto Lock, made with locking strap ends for an easy to use clip on system. When you're done, just pull the latch and slide it off. Keep your guitar on lock with the Dario Auto Lock. So your publicist mentioned to me that um, during quarantine you've built your own studio um, to go in and <laughs> make this record. Uh, it's great to see you guys still staying creative. How much of a pain in the ass was that and what was that process like? Um, it was a huge pain in the ass, honestly. <laughs> um, converting the garage, I mean, if it was just refinishing the existing garage, it wouldn't have been that big of a pain in the ass, but I was really concerned about soundproofing and I wanted to not bother the neighbors and I wanted to be able to, you know, play drums at 2 a.m. if I needed to. And so that was like a whole process. I mean, the, I think the biggest pain in the ass was the ducting because you can't just like cut holes in the walls and have vents every, you know what I'm saying? If you right, want it to right. be soundproof. So, so we essentially like built we built another garage inside of the existing garage, you know, because a room in a room sure. is the best way to soundproof. So, yeah, that it was a big pain in the ass, but, um, you know, it's worth it because we can just do whatever we want whenever we want, you know? So was recording like a, a passion born of you being a songwriter, or is this something that you already had a background in and, like... What was that transition like? Were you able to just like hop right in? Or oh, what? yeah. I've been recording f for a very long time. Um, just in, um, you know, bands that I've been playing in, you know, throughout my life. I just kind of learned how to record because I kind of like to be self-sufficient with a lot of things I do and not really rely on other people. And um, we... We've always kind of just dem used uh, my setup to demo, you know, and everybody, we all talked and we decided to kind of take it into our own hands this time. And I thought it was a good decision because, you know, we had full creative control and uh, for the first time, and that was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, and it sounds phenomenal. So hats off. You guys did a really killer job. Thank you. Yeah, it's because yeah. Mark Needham mixed it. So he, he made it sound good. I actually just handed him a pile of shit <laughs> and he, he made it sound pretty good. So... <laughs> yeah, well, good on him. Good on him, man. It sounds amazing. Um, I guess it's worth noting that Beyond Citizen, um, you also have a solo project, which is incredible. If you guys at home haven't heard it, you should definitely go check it out. It's actually so good that you kind of had me scared for a minute because uh, when I heard it, I'm like, oh my God, this is incredible. This motherfucker's going to quit doing Citizen and just do a solo project. No way. <laughs> no <right>. way. <laughs> <laughs> good, good, good. Well, right on. So what's what's the songwriting process like for you? Um, are you just like banging out a demo on acoustic and showing the guys and then kind of building from there? Historically, Citizen, the songs kind of start on acoustic guitar. Yeah. And, um, you know, you write the song in, in that form and then build the rest of the music around it. But um, I feel like with Citizen... We're like pretty mid-tempo and um, we wanted to kind of shy away from that and do some faster paced stuff. So to um, avoid that, we started with the drums first. And so we, we would focus on the rhythm section and then build the music around that and do vocals last when usually it's like acoustic and vocals and then the rest of the song. So um, yeah, I think that created um, a really cool new version of Citizen that's never been explored before, you know, just simply by uh, rearranging, you know, what instrument you start with when writing a song. Interesting. Yeah, and like I said earlier, as much of a departure as the new record is, it still very much feels like Citizen, so what an interesting way to um, come into a new record by having, like, an exercise in songwriting. Yeah, it was yeah. cool. Yeah. I, I, I was, it, was, it was a lot of fun, honestly, because, um, you know, when you're just writing a song on acoustic and you're just like thinking of the vocals the whole time, um, the you know the only thing that really matters to you is like the lyrics and the melodies. But you know when you kind of like dump all your time into focusing on the music first, um, it was just it was just a new experience. I'm sure a million other people write songs like that, but you know it's, it was new to us and it was pretty cool. Yeah, absolutely. Were you tracking any of the guitar parts or adding anything or were you just kind of living it up to the guys? Um, no, everybody did their own parts. Cool. So, cool. Um, yeah, the whole album was really collaborative. Um, you know, for the most part, I'd like bloom a little idea 
Um, usually it would just be like a verse and a chorus or something. And then I'd show it to everybody and we'd all kind of, you know, throw everyone's ideas into the, into the pot and see what we got, got from that, you know? How so, fun. Ev- yeah. Yeah. yeah I, every, everybody was, everybody did all their own things and it was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. And like, uh, Nick was saying, like you guys had kind of a, well, a, a blessing and a curse of all the time in the world. You're not paying for studio time because you're doing it yourself. So like, yeah, you really your time with it and fuck around and see what works. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. That was good and bad. You know, it t- it took way longer. And you know, if if anything happened in life that bummed one of us out, we would just not. We would just decide not to record. And I think you know there was a, a period of like I don't I don't remember if it was like it was like two to four weeks or something where I just I just didn't feel like recording and I just didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I mean I'm the one running the running the gear to record so. You know, we just literally nothing got done until I felt like it again. So it was, uh, yeah, that was a good and a bad thing. But it, it was cool to be able to, you know, just like go home after you're done recording rather than um, like, you know, just staying at some random house in Pennsylvania, you know, or whatever.